Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to disable Windows Security or Windows Defender in your Windows 11 machine. Now, when you're trying to disable Windows Defender or Windows Security, you are making your computer vulnerable to virus. So make sure if you're disabling it, you have an alternative security software installed on your computer. Otherwise, your computer might be on risk. So to do this, the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and disable tamper protection for your Windows security. So to do this, you will have to open Power shell on your computer so in the search window you may go ahead and type PowerShell. You will see the best match for Windows PowerShell. You can do a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on Yes or Continue on the screen and wait until you get to this window. All you have to do is you will have to copy the command from the video description and do a right click on Windows PowerShell. That should automatically paste the command. So this is the command to disable the tamper protection and hit enter once the command has been executed successfully you would you might get a message saying that the uh, windows security tamper protection has been turned off you can turn on so you can ignore this message and close this window so until and unless you disable tamper protection you will not be able to further follow the steps so once this is done the next step is to go ahead and make some registry changes on your computer to disable windows security or windows defender completely on the computer so to do this you will have to go ahead and open registry editor on the computer you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window you may go ahead and type reg edit and click on ok in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you are on the registry key now when you're making these registry changes make sure you follow the steps accurately without any misses in case if you make incorrect settings there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode or it may not function properly so please make sure to follow the steps correctly when you're following these steps so once you are on the registry key what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and expand HK local machine once you have the HK local machine you will have to go ahead and expand software on the software you will have to go ahead and expand policies it would be in alphabetical order so expand policies under policies you will have to look for microsoft and expand it and then under microsoft you would see a folder which says windows defender expand windows defender now once you're on the windows defender you will have to go ahead and highlight windows defender on your computer on this you will have to go ahead and create some registry keys and these registry keys are for so the first registry key what you will have to do is you can select Windows Defender and on the right hand side of this window you can do a right click click on new and create a new dver 32 bit value create a registry key which says disable anti spyware and hit enter so please make sure you have these characters spelled accurately with uppercase and lowercase i will also mention these registries in the video description you can copy and paste it from here hit enter once you have created this registry key you can do a right click click on modify change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok and the next registry key what you will have to go and create is do a right click new d word 32 bit value disable antivirus with d a and v in uppercase it enter do a right click modify change the value to one and then do a right click again click on new d word 32 bit value disable special running modes hit enter do a right click modify change the value from zero to one and the next key is to do a right click new d word 32 bit value disable routinely taking action hit enter do a right click modify and change the value to one and the last one is service keep alive do a right click new d word 32 bit value service keep alive hit enter do a right click modify change the value to zero make sure it the value has been set to zero not anything else once this is done the next thing is you will have to go ahead and create a new registry key under windows defender now all these registry key will make sure your windows defender has been completely disabled so you will have to do a right click on windows defender click on new and choose key and here you will have to go ahead and create a key which says real iPhone time protection and hit enter once you're on this once this key has been created the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and highlight real time protection and then do a right click on the right side click on new third bit value create a key which says disable behavior monitoring 
hit enter do a right click modify change the value from 0 to 1 and click on ok then do a right click new divert the little bit value disable on action protection hit enter do a right click modify change the value from 0 to 1 and the next one is to do a right click new divert the little bit value disable scan on real time enable do a right click modify change the value to 1 then the last one under this is disable real time monitoring do a right click new 3 bit value disable real time monitoring hit enter do a right click modify and change the value from 0 to 1 once these keys are created and the next set of keys is to do a right click on windows defender to create a new key which says signature updates so do a do a right click on windows defender click on new key with create signature updates highlight signature update and on the right hand side create a new dword 32 bit value string by doing a right click new dword 32 bit value force update from mu make sure the value has been set to zero so do a right click modify value has been set to zero and the last key which you will have to go ahead and create is under windows defender so you can do a right click select windows Windows Defender, right click new key, create a value which says, or create a key which says spine it, highlight spine it. Here you will have to go ahead and create a new string value, do a right click new, divert the little bit value, disable block at first scene hit enter do a right click modify change the value from 0 to 1 once all these registry keys are created you may go ahead and close registry editor restart your computer with this your windows defender or windows security software should be completely disabled or turned off in your computer so this is a method which you can use to disable windows defender rather than uninstalling the software itself and like i said on the beginning of the call when you're disabling your windows security or windows defender make sure you have an alternative security software installed on the computer so that your computer is protected i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day